Really release through the arms. And then come to stillness. Feel that jiggling of energy. Nice. Opening the eyes, we'll step the left foot back. Toes are out to the side, and the front knee is going to bend. We're setting ourselves up for warrior one, so our hips are facing forward. We'll do a little warrior one flow here. Inhale, arms up. And as we exhale, straighten the front leg. And as the arms come back, squeeze shoulder blades. Inhale, sweep up. And exhaling down. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. And last one. Up we go. And exhaling down. Nice. Reaching up and bending the front knee and then turn your hips towards the left long edge shifting into your warrior two so that right knee is still bent shoulders dropping away looking over the right fingertips draw your belly button in towards your spine little flow here inhale palms touch exhale warrior two inhaling and exhale two more these flows can be quite soothing. Just see if you can find it. And exhaling. Keep the arms as they are. Inhale, straight in that right leg. Exhale, lean, lean, lean. Find your triangle pose. And even though we found this pose thousands of times before, see if you can find it for the first time here. Maybe opening or having awareness in a slightly different area of your body. You can even energetically play with pulling your feet towards each other, and this will ignite the legs, ignite your foundation. Just one more breath here. Nice, take a look down, bend that right knee. Hands down, shift your hips forward, and just take a little forward and back action. Just feels nice to rock it out. And then just drop that back knee, relax your back foot. We'll find our Anjaneyasana, opening the arms into a V. Soften the pelvis down a little bit, maybe a little arch in your low back. One more breath. Nice, and hands down, lift the back knee, step forward into your half lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, root to rise up, palms touch, and exhale, slowly down through center, into standing mountain, couple breaths here. What are you noticing about yourself in this moment, your inner landscape? Nice. Right foot steps back, front left knee is bent. <clears throat> Hips are facing forward. We're in warrior one stance, reaching the arms up, inhaling. And as we exhale, we're gonna straighten, sweep the arms back, squeeze shoulder blades. So a little poof of the chest, inhale, bend and lift. Exhale, reaching back, inhale. And exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Wonderful, reach up. And then as we exhale, turn your hips to the long edge. Turn that back foot just a little bit. Left knee is bent, we're gazing over the left fingertips. Belly button draws into spine. And then inhale, straighten the knee, palms touch. Exhale down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhale, and exhale. And last one, in and out. This time keep the arms, but straighten that knee, and then exhale, come down, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Find your pose. Newly, 
energetically maybe drawing your feet in towards each other. Find your breath. Beautiful. One last breath. Nice, and turn to look towards the floor. Hands come down into your lunge as we rock forward and back. Just a gentle rock. Wonderful, and then lower that back knee to the mat. <clears throat> Relax your back foot. We'll reach the arms up. And as you're reaching up, the pelvis will melt just a little bit more down. Tiny back bend, like you're wanting to give the whole sky a big hug. One more breath. Wonderful, hands down. Lift your back knee. We'll step forward into our half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And one more half lift. Exhaling down. And then root to rise all the way up, palms touch. And exhale into standing mountain pose. Feel the feels in this moment. In your body. We'll do one more salutation to get ourselves down to the ground for some little bit of floor work. Palms to the heart, inhale and exhale. Inhale, sweeping up, palms touch and exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, half lift, exhale down. Inhale, step back, plank, take a nice breath here. Such a beautiful opportunity to work the core muscles a little bit. Tailbone is lightly drawing up. Nice, and then drop the knees or lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. And then exhaling into your downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And out. Nice. Bring your right knee forward, and like we're taking a pigeon pose, except we're just going to sit on that hip, and then bring the back leg around. Kind of a fancy little do. You can also kick out that bottom leg if that feels a little bit more accessible. We're going to hug that left knee in with the right arm, and then take a twist over towards the left looking back over that left shoulder. Nice and tall through the spine first, and then that gentle turn on the exhale through the chest, lastly the head. Two more breaths here, closing the eyes. Nice. Counter twist to the other side, just a gentle release. And then from here, we'll just switch sides. <clears throat> just doing our fancy little downward dog trick just on the way in here. Hug in that right knee with the left arm, right hand behind. Lengthen through the spine. Twist from the chest, then from the head. Use your exhales to maybe... Twist a little bit deeper, very gentle, very subtle. One more breath. Nice, and then come into a counter, just using that leg to press into. Wonderful, we'll release the legs forward. <clears throat> Sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, tilt the pelvis forward. Let's stay long in the spine here. We're gonna inhale, little arch through the low back. Again, very subtle, exhale, rounding. 
inhale, lengthen. Hands can be on the floor or reaching for the toes here. Exhale, round. Let's do two more. Lengthen and round and lengthen and round. Wonderful release. Shake the legs out. We'll take our block. We'll just do a little supported bridge. <clears throat> Coming down onto your back, having your block handy. Your feet are landing hip distance and as close to the sit bones as they can comfortably be. Press into the feet and then take your block either on a low setting or a medium setting. The high setting is a bit too high, I think, for, for anyone in this pose. So just go easy, keep it low or medium. And then bring your feet a little bit wide so that the knees can drop in towards each other. And we'll just hang out here in our supported bridge for our little mini Shavasana. So we're getting a little bit of an incline, little tiny inversion here, which is restorative for the heart. We're pressing into the tailbone, which has little pressure points around it, which when pressed into, creates a relaxation effect on the body. So just slowing down the breath here maybe even finding an even inhale and exhale. So we can do a few rounds counting, take a deep breath in and a breath out. And then inhaling two, three, four, five, exhaling two, three, four, five, inhaling two, three, four, Five, exhaling two, three, four, five, inhaling two, three, four, five, exhaling two, three, four, five. Just do four more rounds like this on your own. Deep relaxation. Nice, release the counting of the breath. And we'll just take about six more natural breaths here, natural rounds of breath. Receive the support beneath you. Receive this gentle restoration of the heart space. One more breath. Wonderful. Bring your feet back to hip distance. Use them to press into as you lift up from the block. Stay lifted and then sweep your arms up overhead, taking this big front yawn and also strengthening the glutes, the back muscles. Just one more breath here. And as you exhale, 
Let down one vertebrae at a time to the mat as you hug your knees slowly inwards one at a time towards the chest. And then bring your forehead towards your knees in a little seed-like pose and just give yourself a very gentle rock side to side. Wonderful. One more breath. And come on down. Bring your feet wide. And just a few windshield wipers just to neutralize the sacrum. Just a slow motion from side to side. Just this last little piece before we come to sit up in our meditation. Nice. And then as you come to the other side, just roll over onto your side. Take a nice deep breath in this curled up position on your side. Wonderful. And slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seat. We'll build our seat up. So finding whatever you need. You can even rest up against a wall or sit. If you're at home and you're feeling like you want to lie down or sit in a chair or anything, just get yourself really supported. If you are sitting on a cushion, maybe having some blocks under the knees would feel good. We're going to sit for just a little bit longer today. We're exploring our boundaries of how long feels good to us. So therefore, make sure you're very comfortable. Having a blanket or a shawl can be quite nice. Across the lap or around the shoulders. The feet, sometimes placing one heel in front of the other rather than having the cross of the ankles can be helpful in not cutting off any circulation which is a good thing, although sometimes we have to shift and change sides with this. And even with the legs crossed, even if you need to shift and change your legs halfway through, just listen to your body. We're not held prisoner to any position here. If you need to even gently round your spine just for a breath and then come back up to sit, everything is welcome. All pieces are welcome. Hands resting wherever they feel comfortable on your knees or in your lap, interlaced, or one palm inside the other. I like to have my left palm on top. Left palm, the feminine, being held and supported by the masculine. Lengthening through the spine, shoulders somewhere over the vicinity of the hips. And the chin just draws back slightly. So the back of the neck feels long. We change and shift and morph throughout our practice. So just coming back to this base posture whenever you have it in your awareness to do so. The eyes are just softly closed. And just noticing yourself on the inside. We'll just do a little body scan from the top of the head. Just moving your awareness down across the forehead, softening your eyebrows and in between. 
Soften your cheeks, your jaw, your teeth, your tongue. Sides of the neck, your shoulders, your arms. Back of the neck, shoulder blades, spine, middle back, low back. Notice how there's a slight engagement of the back muscles if you're sitting upright. Just feel gratitude for that strength that we're building gradually, week by week through our practice. Strong back and a soft front, soften your throat, your chest, your ribs, your belly. No need to hold the belly tight here, just a gentle support. Feel your sit bones on the cushion or the chair beneath you. Feel a beautiful energy through your legs and into your feet and toes. And here you sit with yourself. Thoughts wander, it's the nature of the mind. Just draw yourself back to the sensation of your breath and any sensations in the body. If your mind wanders away for too long, for too far, I have a sweet little reading to set the stage from the Radiant Sutras. Attend to the skin as a subtle boundary containing vastness. Enter that pulsing immensity. Discover that you are not separate from anything there. There is no inside. There is no outside. There is no other. No object to meditate upon that is not you. Hmm. Allow that to marinate as you meditate until you hear the sound of my bell. <laughs> 